like a boss. What's up ladies, this is Alex from Mind for Attraction 2.0. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the first thing that guys notice when they talk to a girl. Now, it's not it's not the obvious about your looks. We're not talking about the looks because it's obvious that that's, that's the first thing we, you know, we fear about the person. But the next thing that guys notice about the girl is what dictates the dynamics of the relationship and what dictates what the guy can or cannot do, right? Um, if you fail to do this, you're going to find yourself in cons constant loops of failed relationships where you're the one who's consistently chasing the guys away, right? Now, if you learn how to master this and you know how to, you, when you learn how to project yourself, um, you're going to learn how to put, how, how to, how can I say this? You're going to learn how to project confidence and get a guy to respect you because if a guy gets the wrong signal, it could be game over for you, all right? So with that being said, let's just start it. So the, it comes down to one thing, your energy. Is it directed outwards or inwards, right? Now, it could be, an, when, I mean, when I mean inwards, I'm talking about when you're, when you're talking to a guy, where is your attention? Is your attention on your neediness or is your attention on your senses, which is outward, right? For example, let's say your attention is inward. When your attention is inward, that means you are, you are constantly criticizing yourself. You're constantly watching over every step you make. You're constantly trying to not make mistakes. You're constantly projecting your mind into the future. You see, your attention is on your inner voice that's consistently criticizing you. See, that's what I'm talking about being inward because you're in your head. You're thinking about what to say next. So when you're talking to the guy, you might hear him, but you don't listen to him. You see, you might see him, but you're not really seeing him because you're so your attention is split up from your from noticing your thoughts and your self and your and, and, and your negative self image to noticing the outside world. So what that tends to happen, it, it tends to create a a um, almost like a, a breakdown in communication where you're not really there. You looks like you are, but you're not really there. So when a guy senses this. He senses this in the form of insecurity and neediness because you're talking to the guy and you're in your head. You're like, oh, fuck, what can I say that's, in, that's interesting? And, and, and so that energy, the guy feels it as someone who's, someone who's um, insecure. And what tends to happen is that guys have two options when they sense this. Again, this is an energy. This is not something that you see directly. This is what motivates your actions. This is like this is like the instrumentals behind the lyrics of a song, right? It's not re the song itself is the lyrics per se, but what gives the what gives the lyrics its livelihood are the instrumentals. So you're energy is the instrumental behind your lyrics which is the words that you say and the actions you do right people remember the people remember how the song sounds which is your energy rather than remembering the specific words of the lyrics which is the things you do they are more impacted by your energy than anything else right because your energy is what carries everything that you do is what influences is what is is, is what people feel when they try to filter the things that you say you see so what has more information is not words itself, but rather your energy, right? And that energy is dictated based on where your attention goes. So for the most part, unfortunately, a lot of women have low self-esteem. And that's because of the society we live in. There's nothing wrong with that. And guys too, right? I'm not, it's not exclude. Let me not exclude myself from that, right? But the problem with the low self-esteem, especially in women, is that your thoughts and insecurity are sucking away so much energy that you're constantly trying to get um to get other to get energy from other people's attention which which is in this case their validation right you lack so much validation from your own self you 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 disregard your own opinion so much that when you when you look inside you don't see you you don't see anything because your low opinion of yourself requires a lot of energy because it's a negative trait so what happens because of the energy you, all of your attention is where in that negative aspect so that energy cannot be distributed to the other aspects of yourself that are good and that's why you need other people to help you that's why you need other people's validation it's kind of like a it's kind of like with two cars that one car is fucked up another car comes and gives it energy kind of like that but as humans when that happens that makes us that that makes you successful to other people's influence they could begin to control you because you you don't control your source of happiness so as a guy if i interact with you and you're hot as hell and I sense neediness in you. I'm not gonna personally. I'll still, I'll, I'll still, I'll still respect you because that's a value that I try to withhold as much as possible. But most guys, if they have low self esteem and they sense low self esteem, they're gonna use you as an ego boost if they have low self esteem themselves because they also lack it. 
And so they say they see you, they're like, ooh, I like her. She represents value to the world. Give me suck self-esteem from her. So he's going to do that. So as a result, he's not really going to take you that seriously. You see, and, and what happens with that is that he begins behaving in an attractive way because what happens when you feed, when, when you know that somebody likes you but you don't like them that much, you tend to behave in a, in a very attractive way. And that makes you needier. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. You create a monster when you give away your power to guys like that. So when a guy notices this in a woman, he will have two choices, like I said, right? So what you have to do is shift your focus of your attention from inward to outward, from your thoughts to your physical sensations. This will liven you and change your vibration from low energy to high energy. You see? So when you're talking to a guy, don't, be, don't notice your thoughts, right? You can notice your thoughts, but don't pay too much attention. If you struggle with that, pay attention to the soles of your feet and feel your, the soles of your feet. Keep your attention at the soles of your feet no matter what happens. What will happen is this, is that it forces you to slow the fuck down. It forces you to slow down. So when you do that, suddenly when you're talking to a guy, you're, you're not in your head thinking about what to say next. Why is that? Because you're feeling a physical sensation. You're in your you're 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 feeling your senses. You're not your attention is not inward, it's outward. You're feeling your so what happens is that your the gravitational pull to notice your thoughts is gonna be very great. But you wanna notice the gravitational pull, you wanna notice the energy trying to get you back into your thoughts because that energy is the problem. You want to see the energy and be with it, right? So what's going to happen is that your energy when you interact with a guy is going to change. Automatically, it's going to change, right? So because you're, you're grounded. So you're not really feeding off of him because you, there's no dialogue that says, I need validation. The only, dial, the, the only thing you notice is just energy. Why? Because your senses is where? In your physical sensation, which in this case, on your feet, it could be on your hand, it could be noticing the way his voice sounds and, and, and noticing the way it vibrates in your ear. But as, as long as you pick one physical sensation and you focus on it, your mind cannot control you. So you're not susceptible to your insecurities and your conditioning. You're free. You're not, a, you're not a, an automaton. You're, you're, you're an organism that makes decisions based on what you value and based on what you want to do. Not based on what you feel like you cannot control. But so now if he, if he says something in, in the past, if he says he doesn't like you, your, your, your attention would automatically been on your head. Fuck, he doesn't like me. Now he'll say, I don't like you. You notice the feet. Right? You're like, oh, you don't like me? That's fine. Right? But now if you, now if you want, you can go into your head. But now you have the choice. And now it's, no, it's not an automatic reaction. It's a, huh, interesting. You notice the feet, and you're like, all right, should I entertain this? Or should I just let it go? Okay, I'll let it go. I just keep feeling my feet. Or you could go into your head, but now you have the choice. That's the key. It's that you have the choice. You have the power now. You see, and so when you practice this, guys are going to feel a very relaxed energy from you. They're going to feel very relaxed, very at ease around you. That doesn't mean he's going to like you. He's going to love you. No, no, I'm not talking about that. But it means he's going he's gonna to find you more warm. And it's going to remove the, the number one trait that guys find unattractive in women, and that's being sneedy and seeking validation. It's that simple. And from doing this, you, you're you going to slowly change your energy. And look, look, you want to practice this every day. You want to practice what I call body meditation, right? So 10 minutes a day, just feel your whole body. Go from your head, arm, each limb, and just bring awareness to each limb. And notice each limb from inside out, which means feel the inside and feel the outside. Feel the skin. Feel the bones, feel the muscles, feel every sensation from that body part, and then go from head to toe. You do it at night, and you do it during when you when you wake up. I don't do it that often, to be honest with you. I'll be honest. But when I do do it, I get very present. And when I do do this on a date, women instantly see the difference, you see? And that's what I recommend you to do, all right? Anyways, this is Alex from Mindful Attraction 2.0. If you guys want one-on-one -on -one coaching, go to mindfulattraction.org slash in the game coaching. If you guys want to attend my seminar, you guys can also go to mindfulattraction.org, you know. Um, also, by the way, I'm going to be doing something different, right? Um, I'm, I'm going to be providing a service where, um, you're, but, uh, where you're able to send me your dates. Let's say you go on a date and you, want to, and you want me to break down your interaction with a certain guy. You could do that where, you know, let's say you're talking to your boyfriend and you think you're doing something wrong. You can send me that interaction and I'll break it down for you. You see, that's what I'm going to start doing. Anyways, take care and have a good day. Again, it's going to be at a fee, but if you're interested in that, just go to the link. Just send me a message on my email, on my, on my 
website and I'll be all right. Have a good day. Bye bye.